the ECB president says he will do whatever it takes. Uh, they've kept interest rates unchanged. The market read that to mean that it will start buying. Even that hasn't happened. Uh, is the global economy and e policy making um, captured in this language that nobody seems to be, seems to be understanding? Well, I think fundamentally, I think you need a lesson in semiotics and semantics rather than in economics. But let's take what actually uh, Mr. Draghi said. Firstly, he did say whatever it takes, and that has never been actually clarified. Mm. I mean, the best way to describe it was a promise to do something potentially sometime in the future in an mm. unspecified form involving unspecified entities, if necessary, depending on whether the moon and the sun were in proper alignment. That's all he actually said. Now, but fundamentally in Europe, three things are breaking down, and I think that's very, very important. The first thing that's breaking down is obviously the austerity programs are breaking down. Because essentially everybody knows nobody's going to make these targets and they're being pushed out. And in the case of Portugal and Ireland and Greece, we have problems with the existing programs. In the case of Greece, I think they will need further write-downs. And the problem with the write-downs is all the commercial lenders are now gone. You have to start to write down official funding. In the case of Ireland and Portugal, you may not need to increase the actual funding, but you'll certainly not get that repaid because they won't actually have access to commercial funding. The second thing is Draghi's program of the outright monetary transactions, whatever mm. it was, mm. was never really spelt out, and most importantly, it was highly conditional. Mm. And I think the events that played out in Cyprus shows that countries like Italy and Spain will be extremely reluctant to sign up. So I'm not sure how much credence that has. And leg three, which is basically the banking union, is in tatters. Because the two things you need for a banking union, one is a uniform deposit insurance scheme with proper backing, mm. and secondly, a proper fund for recapitalization of ailing banks will not be put in place, simply because the Germans won't pick up the money. Mm. So in that case, the central banks and the policymakers mm. are actually rather like Mr. Bernanke, reduced to saying things as distinct from doing things. And I think the market will at some point wake up that there is not much firepower left in that regard. And we will see volatility return to Europe, just as it had to the United States. And the United States and Europe are linked because sure. the movement up in interest rates in the United States sure. has had an effect on yields on some of the peripheral debt in mm. Europe, and that's gone up, and mm. that complicates the problem, not to mention the fact that you have governments in Greece, Italy, and Portugal which are tottering and may well need to actually restructure in some shape or form mm. or for the potential of further elections, which would not be conducive to stability. Thank you.